All right, peace and blessings from a Christ lifestyle. All praise be to the Most High God, His Son, Christ, and Holy Spirit. Hope everyone's having a good day today. We're going to try to keep this video real short. I know most people have read Matthew chapter 14, and I was reading Matthew chapter 14 once again this morning, and it was several key takeaways from this chapter that I want to bring out today. You know, you should apply this in life, period, but we're going to talk about just applying this in your relationship. You know, we are marriage coaches, relationship coaches. We want to talk about applying this in your relationship, all right? So one, uh, one, the first key takeaway was, hurrah right um so it was his, it was his born day he had a dancer dancer for him and he told basically told her like if you please me i'll give you you know whatever you wanted right so he gave his word about that right so one thing she wanted was the head of john the baptist so because he gave his word right he had to get he had to deliver that so uh lesson number one is be cautious when giving your word. Be cautious when you're saying things. Because when you say things, it is an oath. It is an oath to the person that you're telling it to. And more importantly, it's an oath to the Most High God. So when you got married, right, you took an oath. You took a, an oath that you would be with that woman or be with that man, you know, uh, for, forever, you know, to, to the end. So, you know, stay true to your oath. And when you give your spouse your word, do your best, do your darnest, right, to keep that oath oath no matter what you tell them to do so use wisdom when you say well, before you say what you're going to do right number two is that christ was able to heal a multitude of people right so if he was able to heal a multitude of people if you're in a you know um your relationship needs a healing whether you know it's uh you're having a lot of conflict a lot of disagreements or someone's sick within a relationship or you know whatever type of trials that you and your spouse may be going through just know that christ uh christ can heal you know he can he can heal if you have faith and put your faith and trust him and be able to work it out because he healed a multitude of people so that's um lesson number two lesson number three is be of good cheer now the disciples they was on a boat with christ and it was a storm going on you know it was a storm going on so the disciples who were with christ in the physical we're not even with christ in the physical but it was with him in the physical in the flesh and they started panicking you know, they got fearful, you know? So one thing he told them was like, be of good cheer. So no matter what situation, trial you and your spouse are going through, be of good cheer. Have that joy of Christ within your heart, within your relationship, no matter what storm may be going on in your life, within within your relationship. That is takeaway number three. Takeaway number four is have faith and don't and don't doubt. See, 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 Christ called Peter out in the water. You know, well, Christ saw Peter on the water, walk on the water, and basically say, you know what, if you be the Messiah, call me out in the water. And the Messiah called him out in the water, and Peter was walking on the water. But what happened? He looked down, looked around, and he started to doubt what he was doing, and he fell. And Christ had to be there to save him. So takeaway number four is don't doubt. Put your faith and trust in the Most High God through His Son, Christ. And don't doubt, no matter what situation, trial you and your spouse are going through, don't doubt that, you're, you're, don't doubt that you can't get out of it. Don't, don't lack faith that the Most High is not going to be there to deliver, to deliver you out. But all you got to do is just keep the faith, put your trust in the Most High God and His Son, Christ. Work together. Work on it. Don't give up. Listen, and your relationship going to be all right. So those are the four key takeaways from Matthew chapter 14 that I want to just bring with you today. Apply them in your relationship, whether you're married, courting, or dating, and just apply in your life, period. Peace and blessings from a Christ lifestyle. I'm Brother Taza Doc, and I'm about to be out. And before I be out, click the link in the bio. If you need some um, relationship advice, we have 20-minute uh, power sessions and 60-minute powerhouse sessions. Uh, we can help you and your spouse out. Or if you're single, we can help you out. Just click the link in the bio. Peace and blessings from a Christ lifestyle. Hope you have a good day. And, you know, hope this video was beneficial to you. Bless you.